All right, uh, Sunday. I didn't buy this stuff today. Uh, I bought this stuff yesterday. So this is one of the first yard sales. Kind of the first yard sales I've gone to in quite a while. Everything here I paid $34 for. Um, some interesting stuff. Uh, I'm not going to say I got anything that's worth a million dollars or anything. Uh, I guess I'll start with the most expensive thing I bought or the thing I paid the most for. Uh, this is pretty much why I, I love yard sales. Um, they're so random, you know, and then the prices are usually pretty goddamn good. But I will start with the, um, this. Now, I, I don't know who made this, but this is basically a BB gun. Kind of fun, kind of cool. I had one of these when I was a kid. I bought these, I bought this as a gift, actually. Uh, I also bought it in case I want to shoot myself in the head. <laughs> That's always a possibility. And uh, not not do lethal damage. Uh, but anyway, I did buy this as a gift, so this is pretty much gone. I'm not going to sell this. Uh, crazy thing is, it doesn't say who made it anywhere. Um, I did, act, uh, it does actually work. I did test it uh, accidentally in the basement. <laughs> I pulled the trigger and a BB shot out, so whatever. Oh, and the guy gave me some more BBs. Uh, I think I'll show what I believe would have been the most valuable item if it weren't for a few uh, imperfections. I think this would have been, except maybe the BB gun, if I were going to sell that. But uh, that's actually gone, so uh, don't don't ask me about it. I'm not selling it to anybody. Uh, I know who it's going to already. Uh, but, 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 but this would have been, in my opinion, before checking anything else, the most valuable item I have here. And, uh, you know, let me take it into the light so you can see what's wrong with it. It's, I don't know if somebody dropped it. I don't think so. I mean, maybe they did. It doesn't have an official dent or anything. But this is just a nice old Japanese yellow floral cloisonne vase. Um, that's what it looks like in the front. I think I, I would have sold this. I don't know if I said it already, but like easily 50 to a hundred or so it still has value uh, here's the hallmark I don't really know who made it I don't think it's gonna matter because I, I saw one exactly like mine on eBay and they wanted 75 bucks I don't think I'm gonna bother putting it on eBay unless I can't sell it I don't know if this is for the store the flea market but here can you see that it's got kind of cracks in it and you could feel it I don't know if it was caused by temperature or whatever. Uh, a shame, but for a dollar. Yeah, the most expensive thing I bought was the Daisy Gun. I paid 10 for that. So it, this all should add to 34 I don't really know. I said I gave her 34 uh, I'll just run prices out. You can add it up later if you want. Uh, again, if, if that would have been in good condition, I, I believe easily 75 these are Thomas Kincaid mugs. Maybe eBay. I don't really know. Uh, I, these were $3 for the pair. I could sell them individually. I could sell them together. I could take them out of the box, put them in the box. I don't know. They're going to ship for more than a pound, no matter what I do. So these have to be worth at least 25 for me to put on eBay. I don't know if they are. I know they're worth at least 20 They might be worth 30 so that's that's a debate. Uh, so far, nah, I don't know if any of this is going to go into the store. Because this is mostly random decorative stuff. Um, I could have got an Atari 2600 if I had gone to the sale a day earlier. But I didn't even know the, the sale existed. A friend of mine went. He bought the Atari 2600 and told me. A tape measure. Um, no big deal. My wife needs this. I guess I'll just go this way now. Uh, maybe we can use this in the store. If not, this is actually pretty cool. It's from the 70s or 80s, I believe. Just look at the orange and whatever colors. This is also a dollar. So, you know. Again, we're, nothing here was big bucks. And I can very easily make my money back on possibly two items. Okay. These retail originally $30 a pair. And they're basically Gorham crystal candle holders in the original boxes. These will most likely wind up on eBay. I'm hoping that uh, each set is worth at least 20 bucks a piece. This way I can put them 
for at least 40 for the pair or 35 or something like that. That would cover the cost of shipping. And again, I think I paid a buck a piece for these. If I at most I paid two dollars a piece. It's like when they give you these ridiculous prices, you're like, it doesn't even, it's, yeah, I'll take it. You know, one dollar, two dollar, I'll take it. So uh, I like that I got four of them. That's pretty cool. And they're all the same, I believe. Let's look at the picture in the back. Number C410. C410. Okay, that's great. <clears throat> these will easily fit in a, in a box. They'll probably cost maybe at most 15 to ship. If I paid $2. I paid four dollars, uh, pure profit. I could put these in a store. I don't know if I will. This is just a pretty neat Linux uh, frame. It's it's over a pound. Uh, it's most likely going on eBay because it, uh, I you know, it something like this could get lost in the shop. I don't know if I want to take stuff like this to the flea market. I'm I'm thinking of going media, uh, you know, going back to media and video games for the flea market. You know, uh, old rulers, old folding folding rulers. I paid a dollar for the three of these. This one's a Stanley. These have been used. Uh, believe it or not, people collect these. Now they don't sell for a lot, lot. But I paid again a dollar for the three. I think I paid a dollar for this too. But I paid a dollar for the three. And uh, I have to decide what I want to do with these. I think. I'll probably lot them and put them on eBay for, I don't know, at least 20 bucks or so. Uh, here's some Verizon bags. They're not in the best condition, but they, they are also Mets bags. These don't sell for too much on eBay. I think they sell for 15 or so. I'm not going to put these on eBay. They're not pristine. You know, they got some loose threads. Looks like they got a, a little bit of loose. But stuff like this is great for uh, the flea market. Or I might put them on... Um, some of the stuff here I have will most likely wind up... Uh, I have many places to sell now. You know, having this store is just another option, another place where I can sell stuff. A uh, place where I can put stuff until I decide, oh, it's not going to sell at the store, and then move it on to, like, eBay or the flea markets or Facebook marketplace. Um, since I may not be... If I do flea markets, I'll sell these at a flea market. Five bucks a pop, I don't care, right? If I don't do flea markets right away... Um, I will probably put these on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know if they're going to have a place in the store. They're just a little... They're too too worn, too used. I don't think they want to... Oh, I got this for free. Um, what they said was, at the end of the sale, after you bought everything, they said, okay, that's our free box. You have to take a scraper. And they had a box full of uh, ice scrapers. So I said, I like blue. And I took that one. I'll do the signs last, I guess. Um, no, you know what? I'll do. I'll, I'll just do the signs. I'll just go in order. These signs were purchased by me for the whopping price of two dollars each. Towway zone, no parking. 8 a.m., 11 a.m. Tuesday, Friday. Department of Traffic. Pretty generic. That doesn't uh, specifically go in any town. I kind of like that. And uh, what do I expect to get for this? I don't generally have signs like these very often. But again, I only paid two dollars. Uh, there's a good chance I will get. I get at 20 and up I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna decide I, I really I don't know what's fair for something like this so I'm just gonna say at least 20 bucks and I'll say parking 15 minutes at least 15 because it's got 15 on it I could just put a little price sign right there and uh, that would be that so anyway I paid four dollars for the two they're in fairly good condition could use a bit of a cleaning I know somebody will buy them I see stuff like this sell all the time uh, I will get at least $35 for these. I will get at least $35. So $4 for $35 ain't that bad. These these are going, again, I think these might be cool for the store. Right? So I might, but of course the store isn't really open yet because we're not going to have traffic. So probably what I'll do is I'll put them on Facebook Marketplace, pick up at the store. Because we want people... Even though the store needs to be organized, you know, we're, we're having air conditioner put in. See, we have a big room in the back where we're going to store stuff, right? Which will make the store look very neat. The room in the back where we store stuff is, a, is I haven't measured it, but I think it's 16 feet across. 
and I believe it's at least 10 um, feet deep. So that's about 160 feet of just what's going to be storage for us. Um, our problem right now is, though, we're having air conditioning put in, and the electrician isn't jumping right on it. So it's, it's a pain. You know, here's the thing. When you give uh, your landlord money in advance, then the stuff that you need becomes low priority, <laughs> apparently. So anyway, um, these will most likely be on Facebook Marketplace pickup at the store. Uh, possibly for this Facebook Marketplace. Um, this, I really think I'm going to try and use it at the store. If it doesn't work at all, I'll just... I'll just put it on eBay or, or I'll sell it at a flea market for a few dollars. Don't care. You know? That's the good thing about stuff like this. I have so little into it. You know? I'm hoping these get me most of my money back, but I doubt it. You know? Because if they're 30 a piece, I'll pro Oh, well, suggested retail, 55 um, Do I think there's anything here that'll get me all my money back right away? The two signs. I think, I think those should sell rather quickly. Um, the rest uh, will be a little bit here, a little bit there. I like these shells. Uh, this one has a little wear on the outside. Nice and pink on the inside. What do they sell for at flea markets? Yeah. Oh, well, first, what did I pay for it? I think I paid two bucks. I think I paid two bucks. So what do they sell on the outside? Ten and up. This is like ten and up all day. That's a flea market. Um, maybe more. It depends, you know. Depends where I go, what flea market I go to. Um, people are really cheap when it comes to stuff like this. They don't realize how hard it is to get these, or if you had to go to the store and buy one, they would be probably more like... You know, I'm not really sure. That I, there's this, uh, this store in Cape Coral. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, is it Cape Coral? It's either uh, North Fort Myers. It's either Fort Myers or Cape Coral, one or the other. Um, it's not really a store. It's where I do uh, the flea market, the shell factory. They sell stuff like this, and I think it's 30 and up. Uh, work gloves. Why would I buy these? Well, because I work on stuff. And I'm not a handy guy, but uh, here, I'll show you. I crushed this finger during the move. Not horribly. Here, and then this finger wanted to get crushed a little, too, so I got this guy, too. Um, we're going to be moving stuff around. We're, we're handling glass shelves, because we got all those really nice glass shelves. Um, I'm going to be pounding stuff with hammers and nails and and laying stuff down and painting stuff I just I like I don't like smashing up my hands so I got for and and especially AJ I got AJ and myself some uh, some gloves you know I don't know if I'm gonna wear <laughs> these are goggles and I got a feeling we're, we're gonna be doing stuff where stuff sprays in our eyes so I got a pair of goggles uh, these are also good because uh, COVID I guess I really don't know just to keep coughing, sneezing, people at bay, you know, and just to protect your eyes from dust. Um, two dollars. Oh, these were two pair for a dollar, which is, you know, so I paid two dollars for these. And uh, these were, I believe they were a dollar each. I, didn't, I mean, let me see if I could, if this adds up. All that jewelry there, which I'll show in a second, was four dollars. Four, five, fifteen... 18 uh, free, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that was probably a dollar. 30. This, these were probably a buck a piece. So, okay. Uh, see what I'm saying? It's so cheap. You know, uh, great stuff for the family. Okay, let me just finish up with uh, Marie's jewelry. And Marie picked the jewelry. I did not look at all. A friend, uh, my friend who got the Atari also got some gold there yesterday. And uh, we got some gold. Wow. That's a lot of gold. But we got gold. Isn't that great? Um, these are sterling. I'm going to get in there. Okay. They're just nice earrings. I don't know if Marie will sell us at the flea market or if she'll sell them online. She's been selling a lot of stuff online. These are Trafari. Again, I don't know flea market online. She's been taking her jewelry and just putting most of it online because there's no flea markets. And this way, the jewelry that she had at the flea markets was, it's been out and it uh, it wasn't moving. So, but and now she's, I would say, 
75% through of what she had at the flea market. And uh, she's going to need more. Here's a puffed silver heart. Pretty nice. And then she got this. This is just a copper. Genuine copper necklace. Okay, that's everything I got. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go to a yard sale today. But they're starting. I went to my first one. I spent $34. What do I think I'm going to make? Uh, Uncle is just going to do some rough, cheap math. BB gun off the table. Uh, King Cades, I'll say at least 10 bucks profit. This, I'm going to say at least 10 bucks profit, 20 This, I'm going to say uh, 35 like I said, so that's 55 These bags, at least 10 so 55 65 The rulers, I'm going to say at least 10 uh, 75 The frame, I'll say at least 5 80 These, I'll say at least 10 a piece. 100 This, at least 5 uh, 105 this I'll say at least 10 and uh, I'm being really cheap on prices so that's uh, what I said 115 uh, this I'll say at least 520 this I'll say at least 525 this I'll say at least 10 135 this I'll say at least 5 140 something and this is just for scrap and I'm, I'm just gonna ballpark at 15 so uh, I guess I 160 160 something like that um, a solid, there's no way I'm going to make less than that. So, uh, so to me, that's a solid, uh, five times my money. Anyway, uh, that's everything for today that I picked up at yard sales. My favorite place to buy stuff. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Bye.